Welcome to the debate on Evening Prime. Has Laldu Homa and his ZPM government in Mizoram hit the ground running? How much of his first 100 days agenda has he and his team, that's CM Laldu Homa and his team, been able to achieve so far? The Laldu Homa government was sworn in on December 8. Yes, of course, they still have around 30 days to complete their 100, 100 days in office. But I'm sure our discussion today will help the Ch Chief Minister Laldu Homa and his government to get a reality check. So without much delay, let me introduce my guest today. With me joining from Aizol at this point of time is Mr. Kyangte Laltwang Kima. He is a member Political Affairs Committee ZPM. I I think I will not be wrong if I also uh, introduce him as a very close aide of Chief Minister Laldu Homa. And also joining me from Aizol is Mr. Henry Zodin Liana. He's the Congress leader and president of the Mizoram unit of All India Professional Congress. Welcome, gentlemen, to the debate on Evening, evening Prime. Also joining me on the show will be Mr. Robert Romamia Royte former minister and MNF MLA representing Hachek constituency and also will be on the show uh, Dr. C. Lalman Mawia, the associate professor of political science at Aizol North College. I'm expecting uh, them to, to join me shortly. But without much delay, let's straight go on to discuss. There I'm welcoming uh, Mr. Royte also on the show. Uh, Robert, Robert Romavia Royte there joining us on the show. Uh, yeah, uh, we're just waiting for uh, his uh, line to get cleared. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me start with Mr. Kyangte now. Mr. Kyangte, 60 plus days of the ZPM government. There were some 12, 12 priorities that CM Lalduhoma had announced. Uh, on the day of swearing in on December 8. What is it looking like? How much has been achieved? How much left? Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you for having me. There's so many things that I can uh, tell you about. Okay. And the celebratory mood uh, is not, it's not over yet. However, right. uh, nobody is celebrating anymore except the next day of the announcement of the result. Yes. And then our ministers, our MLS, I started working right away. They don't even waste any, I would say not any moment mm -hmm. because we are lagging so much behind. So we need, to, we need to do everything quickly and efficiently. So our chief minister pointed out like 12 points priority. Right. And then 12 point priority, most of them have been, most of them have been uh, pretty much done. Yeah. However, uh, some of them are in the process and then it could get improved uh, uh, going forward. So um, if you want me, I can do go by point by point. However, if you want me to do that in the next round, Absolutely. Uh, I, I will be happy Absolutely. to Absolutely. In fact, Mr. Kyangte, we have uh, put out a few of those points for the benefit of our viewers. Uh, they can actually see some of those points uh, on our screen, you know, some of the priorities uh, which were listed out by uh, CM Lalu Homa, uh, some of his priorities that he had list listed out as, uh, as his 100-day agenda. So, uh, right. yeah, uh, Mr. Kyangte, I'll obviously come back to you, get more from you about what's happening, how much is done, how much is left. Uh, let's bring in Mr. Henry at this point of time. I think we are still waiting for uh, Royte to... Okay, okay. So, let's bring in uh, Mr. Royte at this point of time. Uh, Mr. Royte, what's your take? Mr. Royte, please turn on your audio. Can we, can we, all right, let's, let's go, uh, let's bring Mr. Henry in till, um, and get our, uh, the audio fixed with Mr. Royte. Mr. Henry, what's your take? Any changes that you have seen? Well, I've seen, of course, any new government would, uh, 
uh, try to, you know, like uh, uh, make as much as possible, you know, whatever they could, yeah. whatever they have promised to the people in the first instance, which they did, which mm-hmm. they tried. But I, I'm not seeing any kind of concrete uh, solutions to whatever points that I've put out even here today, tonight. Yeah. Uh, you know, we are talking about uh, vehicles, restrictions of vehicles by ministers, and yes. that's not actually happening. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are talking about, you know, uh, I mean, they have been trying, they have been doing, but, you know, some of the uh, points that they have listed out uh, actually makes actually no sense. You know, uh, they are talking about doing away with the VIP culture when we already know that there is also, you know, uh, protocol departments that are supposed to, you know, like, uh, bring security to the people. It's 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 a kind of uh, a, a culture that has existed, you know, in any democratic country, and and so they're trying they're trying their best. Uh, however, you know, it's I think it's also to be fair, it's a little bit too early to say. You know, sixty days, uh, it's not it's not enough for any person for any government to even hundred days. I thought was was kind of a, a rather. Uh, let's say uh, I don't know uh, yeah, some too, kind of yeah yeah an idealistic time. you know like assumptions that they're making mm-hmm. and and uh, uh, but now they know that you know running for government and being in the government is I think they're beginning to understand how difficult it is and when you are actually in the real situation and and uh, now they're finding out that it's pretty tough and they have been also stating that even the chief minister. The Honourable Chief Minister himself have been saying that it's a difficult job, you know, to 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 do away with things that have been followed, you know, in fact, by every state. Okay, okay, that was that was really smart on your part, Henry, to say that uh, uh, difficult to do away with things that has been uh, has been done even in other states because uh, you know Congress has been ruling Mizoram for a very 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 long time. So uh, let's go across to Mr. Kyangte. Uh, Mr. Kyangte, has the going been tough for ZPM? Yeah, I would not say it's tough. I will say it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy because it has been uh, uh, indented for so long. The corruption has been there for so long. The, the government has been always so lenient for so long. And nothing has been done as per rules anymore. So to change the directions and to correct the people the government employee and general people of Mizoram is be, has been very difficult, but uh, people are realizing now, now that uh, we are uh, showing them the right direction. Therefore, they are so happy to see uh, someone who is willing to do good things uh, for the Mizoram people. Therefore, people are really happy. They are elated. They are they are they are really comfortable you know they 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 it's like they know that they are in good hands now they don't fear anymore they don't worry anything about anymore so they are just relaxed and then they are very obedient so people are happy in short uh things are not as per you know things are not perfect right now but it's going to be very good in the coming years it's it's, uh, it's been so short, like Henry says. It's been so short. The time has been so short so far. So um, anyway, during these sixty days or so, uh, the achievement is tremendous. We cannot uh, name them all, and then the people moods. Uh, we cannot even you know it. You know, we cannot even explain it truly. Uh, once you come, maybe you will know here. All right. Yes, I would love to do that. We would love yeah. to visit Aizol and uh, Mizoram as, uh, as soon as possible and see for ourselves what's happening, you know. Uh, of course, right. I would like to talk about the bad roads there, you know, back-breaking <laughs> roads that you guys have out there. And I'm going to ask Mr. Royte also about all of those, some of those visuals on your screens right now, visuals of bad roads from Mizoram. But Mr. Kyangde, I do have to compliment you because you really are being honest and very candid on this show today saying that, you know, so far, of course, the going has been somewhat great, but a lot needs to be done. Let me bring in Mr. Royte at this point of time. Mr. Royte, what's your take? You have been part of the uh, Zoram Thanga government, the MNF government till just a few days back. 
and yes. now it is ZPM. You continue to be uh, an MLA. Have you seen any changes? Thank you very much. Uh, very, very sorry that uh, I could not join you in, in time because of technical reasons. Right, yes. Uh, and I do hope that you understand. Yep. And uh, at the outset, I would like to inform you very clearly that the 12 points that the ZPM government has selected for 100%, uh, 100 days uh, priorities yes. are having glaring differences from the manifesto that have the, that they have uh, you see marketed during the election campaign you see it yep. is very surprising that the honorable cm of uh, zpm government has selected 12 points which are easily doable okay after being after assuming the office but as universal practice mm -hmm. 100% uh, not 100, 100 days uh, programs are always in tune with the election manifesto but forgetting about the election manifesto the MNA, the ZPM uh, the government has selected 12 points which are easily doable and in view of the uh, 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 that's why these 12 points uh, is not what you have discussed on at this uh, August discussion, number but, one. Well, number Mr. two, yeah. and well, Manipur issues, Myanmar, uh, you see, refugee issues, Bangladesh refugee issues are the burning issues in Mizoram. Absolutely. The 12, Mr. Points, Mr. the 12 points of ZPM. Mr. Reuter, we'll, we'll come to that. Issues. Yes, of and course. In addition to that. Right, right. Mr. Royte, free, I... Free movement regime, free movement regime. Absolutely. And also of the fencing of uh, boundary between Myanmar and Mizoram is also a burning issue. Yes. For the state of Mizoram and not only Mizoram, even for Manipur and Nagaland even. But the 12 points that they have selected did not touch the core issues in Mizoram. Yes. So my point is that the 12 points that Mr. Laldu Ahmad, Honorable Chief Minister, has no meaning at all okay. to address the burning issues of the state of Mizoram. Number uh, one. Yes. Number two, Mr. let Rode, me touch I'll... upon the 12 points. Let me touch upon the 12 okay. points. Since I joined later, please give me more time. Sure. You see, point number one is regarding the, you see, uh, about big projects. Mm -hmm. In anticipation of the fact that they will not be able to implement big projects because of some inexperience or uh, immaturity, they just uh, mentioned that they will not go for big projects in the first year. It's a lame excuse only. And regarding the second point, minimum rate, till today, till 5 o'clock of this, the, the, today, there is no fixation of rates for this selected four, uh, you see, items, ginger, turmeric, chili, and broom. Till yeah. now, there is no fixation of the rates. Well, How but, do they say that they will give priority to these uh, four items? But well, Mr. they Roy did not fix the rate till now. And the broom growers in Mizoram are in, you see, great despair because of their failure to comply with this Mr. Uh, Reuter, I can I can see I can and see Mr. Come, coming back coming to the preparation of budget it is a usual thing okay it Mr. Reuter, I can to, see uh, just to just to bluff the people they mentioned this point and regarding resource mobilization the previous government has done a lot and it is uh, this uh, this point is also a mere duplication of the previous uh, government initiative and work orders this is very uh, it is a big same for the State of Mizoram. It is a big shame for the people of Mizos also that they had, uh, they have mentioned this point uh, about work orders. In the long history of uh, Miz uh, Mizoram, there has not been any single case where the new government uh, or can sell the, 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 the work orders of the previous government. But it happened in this uh, ZPM regime. It's right. very unfortunate. M Mr. Um, Reuter, let's... It is, contrary, it is contrary to their 
uh, policies also. Okay, and Mr. Reute, uh, let's, let's, measures, let's bring in Mr. Kyangte here yeah, because I can see Kyangte having a good laugh as you are speaking. So let's bring yeah, in Mr. They, Kyangte. They, they, they have not, nothing other than uh, And in fact, laughing. Mr. Oh. Mr. Reute, Kyangte, before you joined, Mr. Kyangte was pointing a finger at your government saying that they are having a tough time to, you know, get a good start to their priorities and implementing their policies because of the lot of corruption that you guys have done and uh, mismanagement. Uh, is that you right, see, Mr. Kyangte? 60 days of the yes, PM is true. full of corruption. Yes, Mr. I am also a first-class contractor. I am also a first-class contractor. And the, the manner that the PM regime has harassed the contractors having work orders duly signed by the competent authority and duly selected by the uh, competent authority on process based they are still harassed and they are not allowed to con uh, to, to start their work and 47 percent of such key works have been uh, you see uh, Ms. demanded by the zpm regime mr this never mr. Kyangte, in the, you know, long history of mizoram yes. mr kyangte let me bring you in here uh, in fact, now Mr. Reute is saying that you all, the ZPM, uh, CM Lalu M. Huma and his team has chosen the easy way out, picking certain very easy things as their priorities, which also remains unfulfilled. Okay, uh, yes. yes. Uh, room, Mr. room, grow up, sir. Oh, I think it's my time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Mr. Reute says that those 12 points are easy, easily doable, but those 12 points are uh, maybe not too easy to be, get done because they have not been able to do those in the 20 years they have been in the ruling party. So within less than 100 days, those things are being done let, let, and some let, of them let, are let still in the process. Let, let, let him speak, Mr. Royte, I'll come to you. Point number, nine, point, point number nine of the ZPM uh, 12 priorities they have mentioned about Boundary Committee. Boundary Committee has been formed by but the previous government under the chairmanship of the Deputy uh, uh, the Chief Minister. This and Boundary Committee is not the kind of Boundary Committee you and have. And Revenue Minister and Forest Minister were, were also there. All and This is, and this is Reform Boundary Committee, there. unlike and why yours. why they replicate with this Boundary Committee? Why don't why don't why didn't they continue the same boundary committee that has been formed by the uh, previous MNF government? It is very sensitive and it is a very serious issue. Why the why the new government of ZPM is silent about uh, Myanmar borders? Why they are silent about why they are silent about Mr. Reuter, let's, regime? Let's Mr. Kyangte, would you please respond? The society of Mizoram. Let's get Mr. Kyangte in. Yes, Mr. Kyangte. I mean, uh, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. We are all educated. We need to we need to discuss this as per educated people. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, those twelve points are easily doable according to some politician, but these are the points yeah, please, that nobody could do. Bond, 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 Mr. Reuter, no, please let Mr. Kyangte respond. We'll come back to you. Mr. Mr. Kyangte, why don't you continue the previous boundary committee, which have had four times meeting earlier? Why okay, you continue give me a chance, the new boundary committee? Give me a chance to talk back. If you don't keep silent, no, two, two people cannot speak at the same time. Yeah, yeah. No, no. But, my question, please answer. Please when, answer my question. Whenever, whenever you want why, to speak, why don't you, I will, why I will don't you start. Mr. Reuter, please, Mr. Uh, let... Which you have promised during the election campaign. Kyangte, Mr. Kyangte, I think you'll have to speak see. louder. Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry, Mr. Reuter is so upset about all these things because the government, the new government is starting uh, a, a better direction, a better way of doing things. So people are happy. Uh, and then some politicians, uh, obviously some politicians are not happy because things are going to change. And then it it's is, been changing. It, it, it is not a matter of upset. Please do answer the points that I have raised. If you boundary are not committee, absent, then why the are you yelling? Government like, has formulated boundary committee and it has why are you yelling uh, taken like lots of initiative. Why you start room? a new boundary committee, yelling? ignoring the previous one? Just keep quiet and give me a chance to speak. I will give you a chance yes, to speak. Yes, yes. Two people cannot speak at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Let's debate this. 
as per educated gentleman. All right? Okay, those 12 points laid down by our chief ministers are easily doable according to some politicians. But these are new things that the uh, people of Mizoram are seeing. Uh, like he says, Mr. Roy, the boundary committee was formed before, but it was not doing anything concrete. No, and no. no. How can, and our how can you say that the previous boundary committee has not done anything? Because the previous government, uh, the previous government has formulated the boundary committee comprising of YMA, comprising of MHCP, comprising of uh, MKHC, comprising of MUP, and also comprising of uh, Revenue Minister. Uh, I don't think this is argument, and also Mr. The Roy Minister. Roy and they have to had four times sitting and uh, a, a series of uh, boundary discussions with uh, some government was done. Mm, in consonant with the decision of the boundary commission, the boundary committee, how can you say that the previous government committee did not do anything? Why? Why did you take so hard that our boundary it committee is not is like that? From don't blame. Committee? Mm, All right. Uh, because the, uh, I am talking about truth only. Now, uh, Mr. Reute, I can see you're being very active and aggressive on the TV show. Not aggressive. Now, I am not aggressive. I am speaking about the truth only. All right. Now, but oh, my question here... you can see the here, truth as much as you like, but Mr. you Reute, my, my question here is, you know, Mizoram is amongst just the few states uh, left in the Northeast which has an opposition in the Assembly. So, yes. budget session, uh, session starts, Mizoram uh, Assembly budget session starts, I believe, on Ma from Monday. So, are yes. you planning to raise some of these issues and are you going to act as one of those strong, ag aggressive opposition... Uh, in the assembly, my nature is also is very fragile, and I am never be aggressive in my life. And but uh, I have commitment in my political career, and I have listed a lot, lots of uh, omissions and commissions uh, being you see committed by the ZPM government. So if I have chance, I'll point point out. Mm, they, are, they are good deeds also, I'll point, I'll point out. But okay. at the same time... That's, th that's are, the spirit, actually. Uh, you see, yes. lots of uh, unprecedented blunders that the ZPM government has com committed during <laughs> these 50 days. <laughs> okay. Also, one of these Mizoram State uh, sir, Support Service from the board is also a grave, you see, a violation of the... Uh, Obviously, uh, some politicians are uh, upset the because, uh, system of because of okay. anti-corruption measures that we have been taking. All right, Mr. Reute, I would request uh, Mr. Uh, uh, you to allow Mr. Kyangte to speak. And also, uh, before we close, I would also <laughs> like to hear from Mr. Hen Henry. Yes, please. Mr. Henry well, first. You know, the... Yeah, they are welcome. So, listen, so yes. much squabble among my two colleagues here that, uh, you know, actually we, we are not sticking to the point. Uh, not, we are not giving the moderator so proper time yes, to speak. but I hope, I hope uh, this, uh, this we, are, we can see in I, the assembly I do also. Hope that my yeah, yeah. See, what I want to yes, say Mr. is Henry. that. Yes. Uh, what I want to say is that I think yes, you know, uh, you know, when AAP, for example, when the Ahmad Me Party, you know, yeah. like made their commitment during a matter of hundred days, you know. See, the, the financial scenario in Delhi and the financial scenario in Mizoram is totally different. We are a very poor state, number one. And mm -hmm. I think the ZPM party, the new government, are beginning to know that. Now, the reason we, were, we became a very poor state was because of the blunder made by uh, the, previous, the previous government, known as the MNF party, right? Congrats. And Maybe and, and now time, and no? now uh, I okay the budget session is coming up I, yeah. I I would very much like to see how they will be able to you know like uh, curb all the problems associated yeah. with our uh, uh, financial you know situation yes. in Mizoram. See all these points austerity measures uh, we are also talking about you know like the CBI probing in mm -hmm. in in Mizoram and we're also yeah. talking about which. Uh, the previous speaker talk, talked about, you know, uh, boundary, uh, you know, uh, committee measures to appease the problems within the... These have always been there, you know, uh, during our... I think we've lost the line there of Mr. Henry. Uh, 
if we can quickly fix it looks tough okay we are running out of time let me give the last word to mr khyangte before we close can we can we quickly go back to henry for the last few seconds please hello Yes, yes, Mr. Yes. Henry, quickly. Hello. Because, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's basically old wine in new bottles. So we have done all these things, and and now they're doing it. And I don't know, you know, whether it will be successful. See, uh, see, starting a government by owing, you know, by by getting loan from 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 financial institutions of eighty crores. I mean, whether that would be a solution to the problem? You know, you start a government because there is no the treasury is almost closed. I'm telling you. Right. And 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 all these. You know, whimsical statements like, let's say, uh, uh, not being invited to the okay. chief guest. They have been already invited and they are going there as chief guest also. All right. Already. All right. So, so there are many things left undone. But like, right. like to be fair, it's, it's just 60 day days. It, to be fair, it's just 60 days. And, 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 but they've said 100 days. But I don't think that they'll be able to finish, you know, any one of their points, even in five years. So All that's right. the point that I just okay. wanted to make and okay. I'll last, leave, I'll last, leave last 20 commentaries seconds for to others Mr. also. Kyangte to close. Mr. Reuter, okay. my apologies, we are absolutely out of time. 20 seconds to Mr. Kyangte to close. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, our ministers, our chief minister and his ministries uh, have been doing uh, uh, a very good job in austerity measures. Uh, whatever the, the entitlement they have, they reduce it to half, and uh, which is very severe and very effective. That's why people love them. They don't buy new cars. They don't, uh, they don't renovate any uh, bungalow. And then people are, government employees are happy and then they are keeping their punctuality. And then they go to the office on time, go home at, on time. And we have a dev uh, developmental work order uh, is already reformed and then restricted work order is not tender anymore. All right. I mean, okay, Mr. Kyangte, apologies. We'll have to cut you short there. We are absolutely out of time. Thank you, gentlemen, and apologies for not being able to give enough time to each of you. Thank you. Good night and goodbye.